I, I think that it is very important to take it tribunal by tribunal. I, I think it's really unfair to, you know, say, because every tribunal is considering cases based on the merit before it. Is that right? There is no general court for tribunals, is there? So to say that what happened in Rivers is also what happened in Ogun State, you will not be fair to, be, to the judges. Are you being fair in that? Yes, I am. Incident? I'll tell you why. There is a consistent Bible for doing this thing. Okay, now. So to speak, electoral act, the guidelines and the rules of operations. Now, in each case, it would seem that different people have different issues. So in some places, you know, the card readers, was, they say it was brought as a ground. Some people say we didn't bring it as a ground, we brought it as a supporting evidence. And, you know, and that's for lawyers to argue out. If they're not satisfied, they go to the Court of Appeal. If you have a case of bias against, I mean, if you've seen a case, or you can prove that the judges in Ogun State were biased, uh, why wouldn't you take that up? But to say that because some judge in, in River State who was removed from there and now says he uh, alleges that, you know, he was pressurized, not on any other media that I have seen. I mean, these are the papers for today. We haven't heard that, you know. And so it's yet to be confirmed that he was pressurized. But to bring that instance and say that's exactly what happened in Ogun State, that would not be right, would it? No, I didn't say that was exactly what happened. As I said, the perception that we get suggest that suddenly body language now has begun to make it impossible for the People's Democratic Party of Nigeria to have any of its legislation. Because we're That's asking you what questions. We're what we're doing is we're asking you questions based on what it is that the court has said. Yes. Uh, some of the things that he said, uh, my colleague has also brought to you, yes. know, to your notice. What were the grounds upon which you went to court in the very first instance? You see, the problem with discussion programs is that sometimes the presenter doesn't hear or doesn't listen. Listen to this. I gave you the three main grounds, and I will take time to explain them again. We're talking about compliance. If you don't comply with the guidelines, you don't comply with the Electoral Act, you don't comply with the instructions, c'est fini. Technically, you have to go and start all over again. And what are those three compliance issues we have? I'll read them to you. We have compliance that improper marking of voters registered. Let me tell you the full implication of that on election day. If you don't mark the voters register, how can you then come back to tell me that the person that you claim voted actually voted? Non-compliance. The second one, improper use of card reader. Do you know how much it costs the Federal Republic of Nigeria to even import and use that process? We screamed to high levels. They said, via a properly signed release by the Secretary of the Commission, Mrs. Zoga Kwa, she's called there. Just a moment. She said, hold on, let me finish because you just asked the No, 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 because you just said improper use of card readers. Yes. What, what do you mean by improper use? Very good. Use? I will try and explain it to you. The idea is that if card readers have been deployed, it's supposed to be foolproof and get us out of manipulation or some other person voting. What we found out is that majority incident form is supposed to be an addendum, maybe like in case, just, that's why it's called incident. It became the order of the day in this election, and we brought it forward. And they had already previously told us that that would not be allowed. We also said manual vote. They told us manual voting won't take place, won't be accepted. Hello, we brought all this. We subpoenaed I'm, people. I'm, you know, we I'm did still, all the argument. Just, and a, yet, just a moment. I'm still a little confused. Yes, I will try to educate you as to what you mean by manual voting. Because last we checked, electronic voting wasn't exactly allowed. So. Manual voting, where does that Let come in? Let me try and explain. You see, you, on election day, you are here, so you won't even go and vote. Let me try and explain to you what happens. On election day... It doesn't day, mean that I haven't no, seen what I'm trying to explain it to you both for the purpose like. of our audience. Let By me all means, I think you should stick with the experience. Let me try and explain it to you. On election day, when you say you are doing manual or electronic, you bring your card, the one that you previously collected. You take it to the officer in charge. He takes that card from you. He sticks it into the card reader to verify whether it was a properly made card, whether it was a card that it, it looks for your name on the register. He takes it that Mr. Markwell has come. Yes. He takes your card. He puts it through that machine. He says, OK, this is the card that was provided by INET. Yes. And then they give you a piece of paper. You go out to print. That's what the process is about. That's the rule. It's not unusual for us to do the ones that does not go so that way. But that was what they said. That was the rule. So what was manual about the voting? Oh. 
I will not be able to convince you beyond what I've told you. I'm not the truth asking of the matter is that, for your please. conviction. Okay, Mr. fine. But I'm, I'm only I'm, asking for an explanation. I have you given have talked you about many. just a moment. You have talked about non-compliance yes. with the use of is it the cadre improper use of the cadre that you said, uh, not taking the voters register, which it will seem also culminated in people just voting after. So it, it can be three different incidences, can it? <laughs> you see, this are, you see, these things are technical. The technical issue here is that if I come now and say I want to vote on election day, and we have already agreed previously that before you must, the, your so, name must. Uh, let us assume without considering that, yes. okay, all three of them are related, and so because they did not do A and B, we can conclude that C was manual, right? Uh, let us concede that to you. Yes. Now, if that happened in the governorship elections, chances are, are, are very high that it happened in all the elections, even where you won in now, let, uh, Yes, that was why where we won, they then said we should go and do rerun. That is where the issue is. They then said, oh, for the Senate, in spite of the fact that even the electoral law says that once you have, even if they remove the areas of irregularity and you are still popular, or you still have the majority of the vote, you should be immediately told to continue. They asked us to, they warehoused about 5,000 votes and asked us to go and do rerun. Where in is another. This? That is Ogun East Senatorial District, where a senator is seated on behalf of our party. The other part is that they did that in House of Assembly. Day. But let me read what I want to read. Did you, lose, did you win any Houses of Assembly? Huh. All of the ones we won are the ones they asked us to do in Roma, but suddenly we are in a one-party state. Look, Section 142 of the Electoral Act, I need to read it to you. I brought it in so I can read it. Where an election tribunal or court nullifies an election on the ground that the person who obtained the highest vote at the election was not qualified to contest the election comma, or that the elections was marred by substantial irregularity or non-compliance with the provision of this act, the election tribunal or court shall not declare that person. Mr. Are you doubting? That's the law. Are you doubting the integrity of the tribunal? I don't have the time, the temerity of the president to be doing that. When we get to NJC, we'll discuss that if we have issues. Our issue here is that we are saying we are not going to be cowed into, a, into thinking that democracy is not going to work here. But you have democracy said that. Democracy will it, work here you have said because that if we have issues, we must bring it up. You have said and that. And we will try to shift. Nigerians from the hypnotism you know, that they are now generally another, suffering from. You, there's, there's something, you, you, you seem to be very wordy. Another issue, you know, if you ask a question, you have to give us room to follow up on that, oh, yeah, follow up. On that particular question. Um, he's asked a question yes. in terms of whether or not you're alleging bias. It would seem that you've said so. In when we say to of justice, Just a moment, bias. I've not landed on my question. Maybe I get your thoughts. It would seem that you've said so in not so many words. Are you saying that the judges were biased or the see, tribunal was biased? You see, you must speak the language that allows you to be able to provide evidence. No reasonably trained or well-endowed public speakers make careless allegations. I said, traversity of justice has taken place. I said, these are the reasons. I said, we can draw a corollary from what is happening here with other locations. I said, suddenly, Nigeria has become a place where nobody else can win an election, and any election that the PDP wins is going to be told to go and be doing rerun and all sorts of things, and the ones that they win, technically, you're okay. Hey. Yeah, did that, did that, since you're trying to draw, uh, you know, into a, every other election petition tribunal, let's bring into perspective that of Delta State, where your party has just been victorious. So would you say... You know, when... Uh, when a moment, would you say uh, that the judges were also... Uh, well, you, you said you're careful in your words. Uh, would you also say that... Uh, uh, the travesty of justice? Let me tell against, you what... For let, instance, against the Yeah, APC? let me tell you what has happened in, in, in that one... In Delta, which, State. In Delta State. You see, when you begin to... Your conscience, after a while, begins to prick you. You begin to tell yourself that, hey, this is beginning to look like a pattern. And then you then say, okay, 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 we can consider this. You see what they are doing? I, 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 is, that, that, is, is that a fact or assumption? Well, it's an assumption. That can be a fact. I'm not, I wasn't there when they were pressurizing them, but so, they are so, saying so, so. that based on the body language and what we are seeing, this cannot be right. You know. anyway.